welcome back. Back in the kitchen with Karen Doster from the Wisconsin Mills Marketing Board. I've been teasing you about this recipe all <laughs> morning. A different way to do cabbage. So we took a head of cabbage. Uh, well, actually, only half. Half a head. Half, okay. half a head that you cored, sliced thinly, put in some boiling water, parboil it for about five minutes, okay. and kind of let it sit there. Salt a little bit water. of salt. Okay, so yeah. that's hanging out yeah. doing its thing. Right. Now, bacon. We fried up a few pieces of bacon. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we left the drippings. We took it out, uh, crumbled it up, and right. this is. Uh, with the drippings and a chopped shallot. You could chopped also do a little bit of mm -hmm. onion if you didn't want to right. do shallot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, All right, now what we're going to do is we're actually making a white sauce. We're going to put in about six tablespoons of, of butter. Okay. Get that melted there. Okay. And, and then once it's melted, you'll add about a third of a cup of flour. So we okay. want to get that all stirred together. Okay. And mm -hmm. what we're going to be adding to this is actually some a Wisconsin cold pack cheese horseradish flavor. So this mm -hmm. will add some great zip to it. And uh, that's what you find in like those plastic tubs. That sure, you can find and we make it. most of that for the whole world, like that's right in our own backyard. That's exactly true. So, uh, yeah. And I happen to love it on crackers and things like that. So and I love horseradish, which is, goes great with all those you yes. know, uh, corned beef. Provides a lot flavors. of zip to yeah. it. Yeah. We're also going to be using some additional prepared horseradish in this as well. All right. So now we're going to add, slowly add, you can stir while I do this, mm -hmm. about two and a half cups of milk. Okay. And uh, so you want to have a nice, creamy, smooth consistency. Okay, yep. Yeah. So yep. there you go. We'll stop there. We can always add right. a little bit yep. more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that should start to thicken a little okay. bit there. And what it does, that's when we're going to add our last two ingredients. Okay. And we have. We wait a second. Okay. I'll go ahead and All drain right. the cabbage. Drain here. That. That's fine. Okay. And we've got a. Um, we bake this in the, This is also a baked dish, correct? Yes. I have a casserole dish that's already buttered. Okay. And we are going to put it into the oven to, uh, you know, cook and make it kind of warm as well as a little crusty on top because we're going to put some uh, crumbs on. I think cabbage sometimes gets a bad rap. Uh, and people, you know, just, you know, well, I don't think so, but try this with some cheese and all this other stuff, bacon. I mean, right. it's not going to be bad, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. And it's perfect for, you know, St. Patrick's Day, all that green and cabbage is a staple that they have there. Yeah. And so we're going to put one of our staples, which is our cheese here that we have right in Wisconsin. Okay, so this is just about there. We just want to yeah. bring it to simmer. Right. And, and we've got the thicken. cold packed cheese. About mm -hmm. how much of that? We're going to put in about eight ounces or about a cup. Okay. okay? And uh, that hot liquid there will, you know, melt it. So you want to get st that stirred together there. Okay. And also, in addition to that, another couple tablespoons of prepared horseradish. That's mm. what comes in the jar that you can find yep. in your del um, dairy section. I love it. Love store. it on my corned beef. You don't want to put as much rib. in there. You don't have to, but it really does add some great depth to it. This is getting nice and thick and wonderful. And add a little pepper and salt to it as well. And what about that bacon? Oh uh, well, the bacon we're, we're going to add when we um, add the to the cabbage. Here. Okay. So. There you go. Sauce looks beautiful. All right, so sauce goes yeah, over the some cabbage. Sauce goes over that. And again, we had about four slices of bacon. We're going to put about half of them in here because we want some for the top as okay. well. Okay. Get every little last so bit mix of this. that in there. Uh huh. And then we've got Just our casserole dish. Stir it together. Yep. And then pour it in the casserole dish. And then we're going to top okay. it with uh, a little bit of breadcrumbs. A little bit more bacon. This looks like a fun side, <laughs> not not just for you know this time of year, but just a different, unique fun right. side dish. A little bit different. Some more bacon on the top there, and then I have some uh, breadcrumbs. You could dot it with a little bit of butter as well. Mm. Put it in the oven mm. uh, for about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. Let me go get it back here. And then yep. smells delicious. <laughs> And again, we've got it covered with foil. Yeah, and you don't have to. You actually, in the, this recipe, uh, I would uh, keep the foil off so you get that kind of a brown on oh the breadcrumbs. Oh my goodness gracious! But you can cover it up at the end. Karen, this looks it. fantastic with the corned beef. There you go. More green on there for St. Patrick's Day, and there you go. Thanks so much, Karen. Okay. Recipes are on our website, uh, and we'll be back with some more uh, Irish music from the New Dubliners. So stay with us.